Hello YouTube, welcome to a new Wiggle Synthesizer highlight video. In this video I show you in some examples how deep the oscillators in Wiggle are. Wiggle comes with four very complex oscillators. You will see why I call them very complex. All four oscillators have the same features and parameters to tweak. On the top left each oscillator has a display with four different submenus. First, you have the possibility to change the pitch in different ways, in octaves, semi and sans. Then you can change it with a continuous pitch or with a harmonic pitch. More interesting stuff we find in the wave submenu. First, it's possible to mix two different waveforms to one unique. So you can morph a linear with a square wave to a new one. Next we come to the first explication why the synthesizer calls a dynamic wave shaper synthesizer. In this point we have the main shaping of the oscillators. This can be done with different kinds of shaping, from classic sine shaping to random smooth shaping. Here a short demonstration how this sound. To be clear we work here currently with one oscillator. Three additional oscillators can be activated. Then you can also randomize the phase and the points. The points define here the waveform, so easy say, you can randomize waveforms. Something unique in the synthesizer and not yet found in other plugins is the dynamic aspect of the wave shaping feature. Very easy say, your waveforms can dance. This produces very unique textures inside the oscillators. Each waveform is divided in four variable points, which can be changed for making new waveforms. What is great, each of the four points of one waveform can be used for dynamic wave shaping. This dynamic feature has two main parts. A left to right part and one button top part. Each part can be adjusted how intensive it moves. The speed parameter can be synced or adjusted with different time divisions. I give you now an idea how this kind of wave shaping sounds.
Then you have a face distortion part, which you find in the PD section. Here you can face distort the waveform with a sine wave or a quarter consin or you can customize your own face distortion. In the fourth part you have for each oscillator an envelope, a very complex, so an attack, hold, decay, sustain and release envelope. For the next important oscillator feature we turn up all the oscillators. Here you can make frequency modulation with each oscillators. On the right side you can adjust the volume of each oscillators and an and all the buttons in the middle are just the FM. Let's hear some sounds of the FM feature. For the end, I must repeat that each of these features can be modulated by a morph pad, by a complete modulation section, or by a modulation sequencer. In the end, we can say that the oscillator section of the Wiggle synthesizer is quite unique, because you can create timbres which we found less often in more standard synthesizer. The dynamic wave shaping is a really cool feature, which can create very hard sounds but also some unique ones and very smooth. Wiggle can produce excellent wobbles, but it can produce many more interesting timbres. I hope you enjoyed this new highlight video about the Second Sense Audio Wiggle Synthesizer. If you liked this video, please leave a positive thumb and subscribe the channel for more new videos. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. Many thanks for watching and see you soon in one of my next videos. Bye!